What's up guys? Welcome to another Share Factory tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add sound effects to your Share Factory videos for the PS4. Um, for PS5 it's a little bit different. They make it a little bit easier on PS5. For PS5 you can just actually import sound effects like you normally would for images and videos. But for PS4 they make it a little bit more tricky. Still easy to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. There's a couple of different ways to do that. I'm going to show you how I do it. So let's get right into the video. So I have a little video here. It's just a little 10 second clip of Fortnite. Um, where my character is just running uh, and he does a little jump, All right? So like right here, that little jump. Um, so what I want to do is I want to add a sound effect there. I want to add a little uh, like a jump sound or something, right? Let's say like a Mario, the Mario jump sound. We're going to do that. All right, so I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're going to need a couple of things to do this. You need to use your laptop or your PC, whichever you have. And you're also going to need your microphone. So this is the microphone that I use, this, this, this tiny little thing right here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, I got it off Amazon. It, uh, if the sound quality is off in this part of the video, it's because my mic is not connected. This plugs into the, the phone jack, into my smartphone. This also can plug into your, um, your PS4 controller, so keep that in mind. Whatever mic you're using, you're going to be plugging into your PS4 controller in a minute. All right, now hop on your computer and you're going to go to a website. I'm going to tell you the website that I use. It's a, a really great uh, website for sound effects. It's called myinstance.com, www.myinstance.com. It's a soundboard with a variety of different sound effects. You can just type in the search bar whatever sound you're looking for and you kind of just find it, press the button, and it makes the sound. So here's the website right here, it's myinstance.com. You can uh, go up to the search bar right here, type in whatever you want. I typed in Mario Jump, a bunch of uh, different sounds came up, right? You, could, you can try each one of them, right? So click on this one. Sorry, my computer's really slow. There's a little Mario Jump, right? What's this one here? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, well, you just pick one of these, right? So I'm going to go with this one right here. All right, so now what you want to do is just, just find the part, the exact part where you want to do the sound effect. So right on the jump here, boom. Let's just back that up a little bit here. So I'm going to say about right here, right? So I would go ahead and uh, save your project at this point. Just in case you mess up, you can um, just go back to the exact same spot. Um, so now what you're going to do is you are going to take that microphone that I showed you. You're going to plug it right underneath, um, right here at this port right here on your PS4 controller. And then you're going to basically use the speaker from your computer where you're getting the sound effect from, from that website. And you're going to record it from the mic that's connected to your PS4. So let me show you. So I have it connected right here. Now you're going to... I don't know if you can see this, but it's not pointing at me. It'll be pointing at the computer that I have in my in my lap right here. So I have my laptop in my lap, okay? I'm connecting the microphone, whatever microphone headset you're using, uh, connect it to the bottom and point it at the speaker um, on your computer or laptop. Now, what you're gonna do while the controller is still in your hand, and while it's pointed at your computer, it's all about timing here. So you're gonna press X and you're gonna go to add track two, okay? Press X again, and you're going to go to the, the one in the middle right here that says record audio, okay? It's going to give you a countdown, and at the end of that countdown, you're going to hit that button on that soundboard right there, okay? So, boom. Record audio. It's going three, two, one, and hit X to stop. Now, from this point on, you've got your sound effect. Unplug it from the controller. Put it down. All right, so now we have the sound effect here. So if we go back, it's not going to really match up yet, right? If you go back and play it. See how it's a little off? We want to get it, like, timed perfectly. So what you're going to do is go into, if you don't know how to get here, let me back out and show you. Okay, so this is your original video. Um, and the yellow uh, bar at the bottom is that sound effect, okay? So if you want to edit that at any given, at any given time, uh, hit square, edit track two. Okay, now it brings you to the, the yellow part here, right? So what you want to do is hit square, and you want to trim that clip, right? Um, the, the right analog stick um, and the left analog stick control, you know, the beginning and the end. So you kind of just move them together, all right? Make it a little bit shorter, and just kind of keep testing it out, right? There it is. 
Boom. And that's it. It's that simple, guys. All right, you can move it over a little bit. If you need to move it over, uh, just hit square. Just go to move clip. You can kind of just move it over a bit, right? As, as much as you want kind of thing, right? Um, and, that's, and that's a way of doing it as well. Uh, I usually like to trim it a little bit first because sometimes a portion of that has no sound. And, you know, you have to keep quiet when you're doing your sound. So otherwise, your, your voice will be on there too. So that's, and you know, and that's it, guys. And that's it, guys. It's really that simple. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope that it helped you guys. Uh, if it did, please leave a like on this video as well as subscribe to this, uh, this channel if you want to see more Share Factory tutorials in the future or check out my silly gaming videos that I make using Share Factory. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Check out any of these other videos around here for Share Factory tips and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Take care.